welcome back. Um, various people over various times have asked me what in, uh, what bit I use for engraving. Basically one of these, it's called a D bit. And what it is, is basically a single rod of, in this case, uh, carbide, cut in half with an angle put on it. I'll show you a close up of that. This is basically a round rod. There you can see the, the flat on it, sharpened to a point. There's the cutting edge. And there's the back edge. So as it rotates, goes into the material and engraves. So how they're made, um, you can make them by hand on lathes, normal grinders, a lot of work, uh, very difficult to do. So what you really need is one of these. This is basically a D-bit grinder, uh, more correctly called a tool and cutter grinder. Takes care of all the geometry of a D-bit, takes care of all the, the grinding. You've got your wheels, adjustments here, you can adjust the angles and how far in and out you go with the tool. So let's go through it. This end you've got a lock. Now there's uh, you lock it in position and it locks this bar. You got the first part of the stop here, second part down here. So what happens is you can loosen that off and that will stop it from going too far in. You've got a spring here to push all the force down that way. Next part you've got here is the protractor. So if I loosen that off, I can get angles to the, uh, to the wheel. Lock that in position. There's another adjustment down here which I can adjust the uh, how far back it goes. I've also set, <coughs> I've modified this. A small piece here, which is a stop. So I can swing that around and it will stop when it hits up against this, this head here. So I know it's dead square to the tool. And of course you've got a collet here, which holds the tool in place, and a grinding wheel. This one is 800 grit, I use that for the final details. And you've got this one here, which brings the, uh, the tool in and out to the, to the grinding wheel. The other things I need, a couple of micrometers. Um, one's metric, one's imperial. First things first, I want to change the uh, grinding wheel. Take that off. Put my roughing tool in. Reset the position, just roughly for now. Put my blank in. And lock it in position. and roughly position it. Now this is where all the works, all the good things happen. I've got a, a lock here with, you can see a notch just there. There's another couple of notches there, a notch and a notch. Now this notch here 
is where I'm going to start off so I lock that in position and that will what's called split the tool in other words grind the flat on it that's all I need to do start it up see that I've already started to put a, a flat on it still a way to go but you can just see it reflecting there Now I need to check if I'm halfway. Sorry, 74 and a half there. We need 62. So we'll keep going. What we'll do now. Get our angle roughed in. Now well, that's roughed in, what we'll do is change the grinding wheel. We'll put our 800 on. Reset our positions. Check our size, 71 and a half thou. Quick check, 70. Sixty-two and a half thou. So that's split. Now what we'll do is get our angle set. Reposition the tool. is dead sharp so now we take it out
Now we just need to tip it off, which we'll is put a flat on it. Then we'll try it out. Well, that's a success.